Good morning guys, welcome back to this beautiful collection of mods which is Banished Mega Mod 8. Now I played on a little bit after our last session because I just wanted to get my way out of that tools crisis. So with a lot more micromanaging I'm now up to 56 stored tools. The balance that I put in with the four people in the forge actually worked. I have some stored iron, I have a little bit of stone and just a few logs. Now I took in some nomads and I filled up the gatherer's hut and my other food preparation areas so I'm up to 6,000 food. Now coming around here um, I wanted to build some houses that were closer to these areas because we're short of housing in this area. And I couldn't fit houses on here, so I went for the captain's tower. So the foresters have moved in there. And here I have a blacksmith and a dredger and a child and a dock worker. And I think that's where the, the um, uh, nomads took refuge. Now, I am frighteningly short of logs. Uh, I always, I mean, we always use a lot of logs when we start new games. But I think I'm going to have to put down another forester. Right, forester's lodge. I don't like that one. Um, what have I got there? I can't even see it. Yeah, that's a really nice one. Now I want to put it, I'm coming out, then I can see where the circles are. Uh, I think the best place is probably there. That's quite a way from anything I'm doing. Let's take road. I'm still, still on this ordinary dirt road. I haven't got, I haven't had enough stone, but I keep forgetting how early in the game I am. Um, I keep expecting to be able to, is that a hill? We can go around the hill or we can come up the other side of it. We'll deal with that later. I keep it, you know, I keep forgetting I'm only on year 17 and this is very early in the game. I'm expecting myself to have everything sort of set up and perfect and it's not. And that's absolutely fine. Now, what I want to do is to get this stockpile all the way along there. All right. And if we're going to have a forester there, there is a particular storage I want, which is from Red Ketchup. And it's a forest. It's a forest barn and it's gorgeous. And I want it there. Tudor Town Barn, no. Right, start at the beginning. Tiny Barns, no. Storage, storage. Fruit and veg, we've got that. Village Barn, no. No. Gosh, I will find it. I could have gone straight to Red Ketchup because you know. Oh, this is the Celtic lot, isn't it? Yeah. They take up quite a lot of room, actually, those Celtic ones. Industry, storage, old barn, that's a gorgeous building. Forest barn, that's the one we want. Let's put it along here. There we go. So we've got that to build. We've got the Forester's Lodge to build. And we will, of course, need houses. Let's look at red ketchup. Boston House, no. Those are odd. Plymouth House, 24 wood. Um, I think that out here, oh I need glass for that. Oh, too early in the game. Country little house. Let's go back to CC. 
Um, what should we have out there? Oh my goodness, I can't decide on the houses. Rustic abodes are pretty good because we could upgrade those. Let's get a couple of those in. We would want two lots of foresters. Put those in there. So we've got two houses to be built out there. Yeah, and then we can upgrade those as the occasion arises. Right. Um, we do need to move down to CC. Right, let's kick off. Now, I am... Are we moving? We are. Right, let's swing round. Colours are gorgeous, guys. Now, the one I've been worrying about are the gatherers, and I think that this is the Wild Shepherd. And we've got one domesticated animal. Um, I think I'm going to take you out of there. Uh, stop you working. Now you ought to go into the gatherer's hut. Four or four, that's fine. And we've got four labourers, guys. Four, that's a lot. Now at the moment we are building a chandlery. And I want to get that built first. We need 28 out of 40 lumber. This guy's making me lumber. And this is why I'm worried about logs, actually. Um, I love building in Banished, as you know. And there's no way that I'm going to be able to build what I want to build without that. Now, given that I've got a labourer, if we can get our people educated, everybody will become more efficient at what they do. The miners will be less likely to have accidents. Now we've got fields. Oh, somebody coming to us. Let's have a look. Right, we have deer. Right, let's put a vendor in there to start with. There's 750 each. If I were to take two, 1500 right let's put in uh let's put in 12 30 flowers all right and then if we put in let's start with 800 is that right no oh i tell you when i try and do maths when I'm recording, it's absolutely hopeless. So what I'm going to do is make life easier for myself. Put two noughts in there. All right. The beeswax, we need 800. Right. That's 2,000. I'm paying 500 too much. How can you get it so wrong? So let's take out the 800. So what I'm going to need, 15 is 300. Right, there you go. That's 1500. Trade. Do I need more? No, I don't have a lot to sell. So we should have bought two deer. We look as if we bought two deer. That means that we need somewhere to keep our deer. Sounds like a plan. And a, no, I want a, a standard pasture. So let's do a big one. That looks about right to me. 22 by 16. Okay, and that is the urgency. So we need to put the urgency on there. And they're not going to be able to do that unless they have a stock bar. That should give us a bit more. 
actually is that where the we're going to put a road there let's put the stockpile along there good that should clear some trees for us oh we're down to one laborer and one builder right so our absolute priority is this then we get it up before the deer die they shouldn't be too far from home they've got two bridges as well guys I'm not even bothering with stepping stones or rustic bridges or anything other than the bridge I want right standard pastures going up Chandlery ha ha is up let's have a look at you very nice very nice good and we need somebody in there to start making candles for two reasons one is to upgrade our minds but the other and I need to keep that over there because I don't have somebody the other of course is that candles will fetch more than beeswax right okay gosh look at them going down into the mine digging deeper and deeper and these rickety old boardways absolutely wonderful looks gorgeous and look they leave their wheelbarrows on the side just fantastic stuff the the drawing of this is beautiful beautiful all right and then if we're across here we're going to need houses for the shepherds let's think about this oh we've got a trader coming oh my goodness a tent with a fire guys I don't think I can resist that do you I and mean, how good is that I mean reindeer herders it's got to be done sometimes you don't build the most effective houses you build the ones that you actually really really want oops let's come to here oops right oh you're selling me food but I have six thousand do you in order anything else you are a food supplier no that's fine okay dismiss I think we're all right good we are hoping that our deer oh look at all this they're collecting wow so much they've got flowers and food and I don't know what these little things are apples they've got there by the look of it fantastic that could be ore beautifully beautifully done guys yeah and we've started to get the removal of the stockpile good have I got a builder I have yeah forest barn yeah I think what we need to do is just yeah right keep the priority going whatever you do don't falter in your priority guys at the beautiful flowers I think the flowers are actually some of the nicest things and I think they come from red ketchup a lot of them his sort of thing guys his sort of thing how doing on stone 37 yeah a tornado no 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 where's the tornado touch down near the town we have nomads um nine i'm going to allow that no oh no was that a path 
I can't see it. I mean, sometimes you get tornado warnings and it's way off the edge of the map. It's just, they're just so hard to see. When you click on the torn tornado sign, it doesn't take you to them. All right, we've got all these nomads who have arrived. Let's put in a couple of builders. Reserve of logs is low. I know, guys. I should just, just get on with the clearing. And we have students, guys. We have 60 people and 60. We have a shortage of tools again. Well, we've got 84. Let's just get on with that. Good. See, our reindeer will give us meat and hide. And that will move us into the territory of being able to easily, easily um, cope with famine and things like that and make clothes and all sorts of different things right let's have a quick look at our whoa did you feel that halt let's have a quick look we've got 38 families and 23 homes our production on tools we produced 107 and used 76 Produced 80 and used 70. That looks to be all right. One hopes. Right. Inventory. Reserve of logs is low. I know. You're picking them up, guys. You're picking them up. We've got four domesticated animals. That's useful. The farmer died of old age and has been replaced. Excellent. We've got a hundred iron tools. Forty-four iron ore. Forty-four iron. Furnace fuel seven hundred and eighty-eight. We are just fine. All right. Now, this is the priority. Reserve of logs is low. All right. Oh, died of starvation. That's bizarre. They died of starvation. Why are they dying? They're dying of starvation. That's very peculiar. Old age, yes, but starvation. Because this... Where does that cover to? The market. It's got a huge circle. It's covering these houses. That's... Sometimes you just can't understand it, guys. Uh, I have seven and a half thousand food. I've got a market covering most... Market covering most of the houses. You know, the circle's right out here. Um, why would they be stuffing from starvation? How very peculiar. And all these logs have already been used up. Maybe they were out here doing something. All right. Let's just cut some logs as well. Have we got... We've only got one labourer. Good heavens. Harvest these trees. A merchant has arrived. What have you brought me? You've brought me seeds now. I just don't have enough in here. Let's dismiss on that one. The reserve of stone is low. I only have 59, that's fine. I have one builder. This is gonna take ages to build. And then I won't have anyone to work it. I, I just did not understand that starvation at all. Oh, were they homeless? That reminds me, one of you made an excellent suggestion and said that what I really ought to build um, is a boarding house. What's that? Logs low again, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
boarding house. Let me just, yeah, that's that one. Goodness me. Is that the only boarding house? I don't like that one. DS housing and accommodation. You've got a boarding house? Townhouses, Celtic homes, lovely. Village townhouses. Stone houses. Inns and boarding houses. Ooh. Village inn. A temporary residence for up to four or five families, you know, that would go awfully well next to that, wouldn't it? I like that. I think it ought to go the other way around. No. Um, lined up. Let's build that one. I haven't seen that one before. We have another, oops. Flatbread, tin soup and bread. I've got 9,000 food. I think we are okay on that. I'm hoping so. I mean, 9,000 food is a lot. That's a beautiful bridge. Right. So we're going to build a village in. What are we building? Have we got this pasture built yet? No. Look, guys, come on. Come on, we need this. This is what we need built. Only one builder, no labourers. A child named Tell was born. If I'm right, oh, it needs clearing. Right. So we have just a little bit more to clear. The gatherer died of old age and the refiner died of old age. And I have no one to replace them in spite of taking those nomads. What a good job I took those nomads. And of course we've slowed down on the production of people, adults rather, because they're getting educated. Oh my goodness. Right. So we're down to zero labourers now. There is no... These deer are going to die, aren't they? I need a labourer. Let's take out a vendor. The herdsman's died of old age. Right, you. Stay there. You. Come out. And you're going to be a herdsman. We cannot go without the herdsman. I've got ale wenches and everything. I'm having an immense amount of trouble this time with this mod right and that herdsman is essential because I think he's up here yes and what are you making a lot and also leather interesting yeah I dare not take people out of the tool production line at the moment guys we've got clothes no that's minerals we have no clothes. They may be dying of cold. Hmm. We just need more people. And to do that, you need to build more houses. Right, how are we doing on this pasture? 72 of 72. I've closed my people down. What, le what I've got left? Oh, no, we don't want that one. Reserve of stone is low. Right, we need to... the herdsman died and has been replaced. 
I don't have a builder. What could I do with that temporarily? Oh my goodness me. Um, let's take the herbalist out. And you are going to be a builder. Because my dear was still alive if I get there. <sighs> Tricky. Right, build it. Okay. I love the idea of having a tent by the reindeer herds. What have you bought me? Sheep dismiss. We can't even get the reindeer up and running. And I've slowed everything down. I now have 10 students, 12 children. So we've got the proportion right. All the people, that's all right. We'll do without the dredger for the time being. This is more important. Goodness me. Talk about micromanaging. Right. A child has been born, a student, so we're 10 students and 13 children. See, when this lot start coming through, it will be a blessing. But of all the times to choose to slow the game down, that was not ideal. Okay. I mean, frankly, if I dare die, it will be awful. But that's the way life ends sometimes. <laughs> Not goes, but ends. We could do with a better setup for these blacksmiths. Because these can be upgraded. Oh, I like that idea. I wonder why the fishermen... Are they living there? See, I've got a far bundle and a hunter and a forester and a fisherman. I don't think I have enough fisher people living here. And they're probably not in good enough houses anyway. How are we doing? Oh, nomads. Yes, please. Allow. All right, we have the tools for them. We have the food for them. Do we have the houses? No. But we can put in an extra builder. Now, we had a lot of people die there who were not replaced. The farmer, the blacksmith, beekeepers are four. That's good. See, we replaced some of them. Chandler. Dredger. Put a dredger in. Fisherman, an extra fisherman would be good. Herdsmen and hunters are there. Woodcutter, interesting, we might need another one there. Good heavens, we've got a magician. How wonderful. Can't wait to see the magician. Stonecutter, five of nine. Teacher is still there, thank God. Trader will do with one for the time being. Vendor we must keep, I think. Woodcutter, yeah, okay. One labourer, two builders, my goodness. I've done it the wrong way. Right, the Forester's Lodge has been built. And of course, two Foresters have gone in here. You are a long way from anywhere, mate. Now, where does this market end? It ends there. And the Forester's Lodge goes to there. So let's see if we can find a market. A market building. Now, there's a very beautiful one. Um, market stalls, no. We don't have enough people for market stalls what we a central market that's the big one we've got that old town market um 
Ah, yes, that, that is an old town log. Forest barn, food market. It's a tiny one. We just close the forest barn down. That's another big market. Central store. What does that need? Oh, I haven't seen that. Oh my goodness. That's the most extraordinary building. Right, let's get that. It won't go there, but it might go there. Yeah, and that, if I'm right, provides a local area for citizens to collect food, yes. That's that general store. Let's build it. I've never built it. But we do need a market down here to help people. And this forest barn has been built. Let's have a look at it. It's a gorgeous building, I know it. Yeah, really nice. Okay. All right, so that's looking all very good. Excellent. Have we got that pasture yet? We have. Right, standard pasture, deer, one. Let's hope that they're still alive. If they've died, they are still alive. They're in here. Right. Aha. Rustic abode, good. Labour and forester living out there already that's good yeah they're building and a tent with fire that's why i'm hoping the herdsman will go oh hello merchant what have you brought me spirits liquor and rum dismiss got enough problems without getting drunk on the job here it's very strange i don't know whether it's the way i've got it set up but it does feel as though I'm living on the edge a little bit more than I would be comfortable with. Now we have domestic animals here and I think we could put a few more in because we've got cows. If I were to look here under the pens, we could get chickens. And I think but that would be a nice thing to put at the end of this garden. Some of them are gardeners and one of them is going to keep chickens in the bottom of his garden. A lot of people do. What a great idea. All right. There are only four domestic animals and we've got four domestic animals. My thinking is if I can get eggs Oh, we've finally got some, we've finally got some adults coming through. Excellent. Right, well, we need more foresters, so let's put another one in there, Forester's Lodge. And that's the other one, we'll put another one in there. Um, foresters, let's just check. Seven of nine. Wow, we are low on foresters. No wonder we're short on logs. So we need more foresters, which is why I built the foresters area. Forester seven, eight. That gives me two labourers, two builders. We've got a rustic abode. That again is in the foresters area. Lovely. Those do actually look very very nice there and they're putting flax in there that's absolutely fine tent with fire ah we've got a builder and a fisherman in there what does it look like oh my goodness look at it guys is that gorgeous i was hoping for the herdsman but tent with fire is there tent with fire sounds wonderful 
So we've started getting more people coming through and this time they're educated. That should be a lot better. Good. Guys, we're going to leave this edition of the Banished Mega Mod 8 at that for today. I hope that you're enjoying this series. Please leave a like. Please subscribe to me. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye-bye.